What's up guys, Andres here with Steps for Improvement and welcome to today's video. Welcome to a very snowy Sweden compared to the more tropical island like Hawaii like New Zealand like island of San Miguel in the Azores that you saw last week. Anyways, in this video, as the cars go by, <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about analysis paralysis, a condition or at least, no, a kind of a syndrome that you can develop by not taking enough action. Let's talk about it. I got my hood on because it's cold as fuck. It's like minus 20 degrees Celsius. I'll put that down here in what that is in Fahrenheit. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the topic of today's video. And that is of analysis paralysis. Like I mentioned, a lot of times when you read into something and when you say gather information about a subject like self-improvement, dating, training, you can fall into this rabbit hole of just gathering and gathering information and not actually using it and actually taking action because you know that's what matters that's why you're pretty much gathering all that information I'm gonna find a nice spot to sit down there's snow everywhere I can't find a place to sit down or where to put my camera so I'm gonna have to do this standing up and that's all right anyways does this sound familiar to you that oh there's a spot to sit down does this sound familiar to you when you for example, get into the topic of self-improvement and you know, you're interested in improving yourself, improving your life. You watch a lot of YouTube videos, you maybe watch my YouTube videos. You probably watch other people's YouTube videos and you get into this habit of just watching a lot of YouTube videos and collecting a lot of information, you know, and that's that's good, but the thing is, the problem is a lot of times you can fall victim to falling down a big self-improvement rabbit hole of just you know watching watching videos mindlessly and you know you might be taking in the inf information but you're ultimately not using the information that I'm giving you that other people are giving you so that in my YouTube videos I always try to tell people you know watch my YouTube videos but more importantly actually try to use the things that I tell you you know so like this for example don't just watch my YouTube videos mindlessly um, you know there is a point of why I'm making these YouTube videos and that is that you can have you can find tools for yourself that you know or other people make these YouTube videos so that you can find tools for yourself how to really enhance your life and improve your life <clears throat> whether that is your lifestyle dating training whatever it may be and you know another area of this that you know you can fall victim to is reading a lot of self-improvement books or just reading a lot of those types of books in general uh, you know you want to just buy a lot of books and you might read it you know you might read the whole book you might read it once or twice um, but ultimately you're not really using the information when it becomes such a habit of just you know Falling into that rabbit hole then it's kind of useless um, So just really try to catch yourself and remember to you know fuck man I actually got to use this information that he's given me. I've actually got to apply it to my life Which is you know ultimately the hard part as well. This is just a reminder for you I'm gonna get home because as I said it is freezing out here uh, Just hit the gym had an all right workout. It's not a it's not the best workout, but you know a workout to work out. <laughs> so I'm gonna meet you guys back home and I'm gonna wrap the video up right there. All right guys, so I'm back home. I'm all showered up and I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. The last point of this video, you know, it's so easy. Everything today online, it's so easily accessible for everyone. It's so easy, I think, today to really fall victim to analysis paralysis. I mean, you got how many YouTube videos, how many books to read, you know, it's pretty much everywhere. And you know, analysis paralysis is pretty much just overthinking and not taking action and living in your comfort zone, which is what I preach on this channel 24 seven. My tips for, you know, avoiding analysis paralysis, not falling victim to that shit, is to first of all, is obviously, you know, you can't just stay away from everything. It's not why I make YouTube videos. I'm not telling you to stop watching my YouTube videos. Do keep watching my YouTube videos. Please keep in mind to always, you know, try to learn something and uh, take something from the video and apply it to your life. You know, because that's one of my philosophies of this YouTube channel is that you can take something from my YouTube videos and you can apply it to your own life in some way. You know, custom tailor that shit to yourself and enhance your life, improve your life. And that's what you should be doing with other self-improvement channels as well. That's what you should be doing with all the other dating advice, training advice that you learn. Uh, don't fall victim to analysis paralysis. Always remember to take action. Find the first actionable step and you're gonna be good to go. I'm gonna be wrapping up this video right here. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe because I upload new videos every single Friday. And make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. 
And with that all out of the way, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.